In this video, we will show you how to set up screens using container. The container are a new and powerful concept which helps to create unique user interfaces. For this video, we will create a new project. If the project is ready, go to the project view, expand the folder UI, make a right click on main window to open the context menu, select new, container, and this list shows all kind of available container. A panel container can be used as base for a screen. It offers, like other container too, properties like width and height regarding the size and horizontal and vertical alignment regarding the position. The new created container will be automatically inserted under the element, the main window, which had the focus before. Elements which will be inserted in Unico HMI under another object will have a position referring to its superior element, which we are calling parent. The new inserted object is called child. To adapt the size of the new created container to its parent, which is main window, set the horizontal alignment to stretch as well as the vertical alignment to stretch. No matter which size our main window has, the panel will now adapt automatically to the size of the main window. To adjust the dimension of the main window, make a double click, use the handles, or change the properties for its size. Now let's have a look into the different types of container. Go to main window and open the list of available containers. The horizontal and vertical layout container can be used to organize objects in a row or a column. These objects can be any UI control or even other containers. The scroll view container is useful if you have content which is maybe bigger than the size of your display. The scroll view container supports also multi-touch gestures like zoom in or zoom out. The panel loader container can be used to load dynamically different screens into the same place or container. And the navigation panel is a predefined panel to create a tab-based navigation. Finally, the pop-up. The pop-up panel is suited for messages or information. We skipped some of the elements. We will discuss them later in another video. We will now create a simple demo project using a vertical layout, a navigation panel, and some other elements. First, we have to delete the panel one, open the context menu of main window, Select New, Container, and Vertical Layout. Each new element, which will be added now, will be placed on a vertical axis to the layout from top to bottom. Change the alignment properties of the vertical layout to fit into the main window. And add a panel to the vertical layout, which shall be used as header. The header should use only a specific area of the screen. So let's change the properties. The header should use the whole width of the screen. So let's set it to stretch and the height to a specific value. And now we can add the other elements to the vertical layout. Select new, container, navigation panel. And another panel, which will be used as footer. As you can see, the elements will be automatically added one after the other to the vertical layout. Now we have to change the properties of the added panels to fit into the vertical layout. No matter what, we would like to see that the navigation panel uses all 
available remaining space independent from header and footer. So the alignment has to be stretched for the horizontal and vertical layout. And our footer similar to the header will have a specific value for the height and the horizontal alignment will be set to stretch. To organize the project well, we will create a new folder where we organize our panels. So select the context menu of the UI, select new and folder, and insert a new panel to my screens. In our demo, we will add three LEDs to the first screen. So just for the reason to work, make it a little bit bigger, insert three LEDs. The first LED should be stay on the left side, the second LED should be stay in the center, and the third to the right. We would like to show you how we can create a responsive design. So let's change the properties, go to the first LED, we have the horizontal alignment to the left, delete the margin, the top margin we can say for 100 for each. The second LED should stay in the center. Forget about the left margin, the top margin is 100. And the third LED should stay on the right side top margin 100. Now let's create uh, the second screen. For this reason, we will just select the first screen, make a simple copy paste, make a double click. You see on the three LEDs and we will add one more LED. Or we can say this one also shall we stay in the center, left margin, top margin 200. If the screens are now ready, we can add them to the navigation panel. Make a double click on the navigation panel and now simply drag and drop the panels from our screens. The first one and also the second one. If everything works fine, run your emulator and see the result. We see the first screen, the second screen, and if you change the LEDs, it will stay at their position.